bikepacking and gravel racing it's all about your bike bags apparel but there is one important thing on this list which is all about your comfort during the ride and i mean shoes In the past I didn't care about this topic and what I did, I went to one of these like sports supermarkets, I got one pair and I was really excited because finally I have this like clipping shoes that I can attach to my bike and I felt that that was like the best thing ever. But right after ride, I started to feel like some discomfort, shivers, my feet were really tired and I couldn't even walk after ride, which for me was kind of weird because I was cycling, not walking. So after one year, I just get rid of this pair and I start my research again. And finally, I found the solution for me. Before you will buy your first pair of uh, cycling shoes you need to ask your question for what you need these shoes because in my scenarios I have two different type of activities on my bike first is really long rides during bikepacking with bags attached to my bike and the second one is like one day ride with my friends really short one and I'm not carrying anything at all with me so I decided to save extra money and just buy two pairs of cycling shoes and I will explain you why. As I mentioned before, gravel cycling it's kind of really long process when you're like experimenting with the stuff and you're checking like all the brands and all the specs of course it's important because you're investing your money for something and during my research I heard a lot of good opinions about the physics shoes so I bought like two pairs from this brand because I really want to have like a pair of shoes that at least I can have them for like two, three years and they're like really solid with really good material and quality. So I don't have to invest money after another year. So let's start with the first pair of shoes and it's Physic Terra X5, which is a pair for racing, training and a short trip with my friends. And what I really like about these shoes, they're like really lightweight, so you can't even like feel them on your feet when you're like cycling. The quality of material, it's really great. And for me, the winner in this model is this BOA system for tight your shoes because I have really like slim feet so I need like shoe that will fit my feet really well and also it depends on the season they like fit really well with the socks of like winter or summer socks also what is really great in these shoes there's like the ventilation system so we are totally covered like during the summer and like really hot conditions but also during the winter if you're using merino socks like this ventilation system it makes dry your socks and i tested like so many times like walking on the muddy trials or even like cross with these shoes like small streams uh, even during the winter and i was feeling really comfortable the only thing that i don't like about these uh, shoes it's like the quality of the soil because in my opinion this pair of shoes it's not really great for walking and try to do this like a couple of times during the racing and they're like really slippery so even if you climb your bike up to the hill i wasn't feel like really comfortable even if it's like normal trail or like trail with the rocks so that's why I don't really like to use them during my bikepacking trips. Let's talk about the second model, which is Physic Terra Climat X2. And this is my pair for bikepacking and long distance. And my favorite uh, thing about these shoes is that they're really flexible. And I will tell you why. I'm using these shoes not only for cycling, but also for walking. I don't want to like travel with the extra pair of shoes. So even if I'm like putting my bike to the hostel or living on the airport, I can still use this uh, shoes as a random choice and just like walk around the city or just like travel with them on my feet and they're really comfortable. Another cool feature is again this BOA system that makes your shoe like fit really well to your feet and even for like summer or winter socks works really well. Another cool feature is like this socks around the shoe so the dust or water it's not going inside your shoe and your feet are like clean and dry all the time. I'm calling these shoes like weatherproof because 
many cases I'm using this shoe for winter season because for me it's really important to have like dry feet during this long ride so they're like muddy waterproof on like some sections on the shoe uh, but the, I test them like so many times and I'm happy that it like works uh, really well. Another favorite part of this shoe is the soil. It's really solid and the grip works really well. I climb with the shoes like so many hills or like walking on the muddy trails and I was always feeling comfortable during like this walk and you are really stable with your bike. So that's another plus for these shoes. The only thing I don't like about them, it's really hard to put them on your feet and get off. You need to use extra power and that's the only thing that I really don't like them. But in the end, it's like the small thing. So I won't complain about that. So that was like a quick guide and explanation why I'm using these shoes, why I have two pairs, but you have to remember that you can just like stick with one solution and have one pair of shoes for all your adventures, races and trainings. This solution works really well for me and I don't want to like push you to buy like so many pairs of shoes if like one pair can like easy works for you and in my opinion it's better to save extra money for your traveling and see new places than spend all the money for the gear because you have to remember in the end it's all about the adventure and cycling and seeing new places and this is also my experience after three years of bikepacking and uh, gravel cycling and i really want to thank you for being here support the channel and see you on the next adventure